Hello everyone. So let's learn a fascinating idea in number theory called as chicken nugget theorem. So the name by itself is appealing to us, right? So it is like you have two numbers which are co-prime to each other. And what's the largest possible number that cannot be represented as linear combination of the first two numbers. So let's learn it through an AMC problem. Let's first solve it and let's extract the idea and let's frame the theorem. Let's get started. So this is the problem from AMC 2015 and we are going to learn chicken nugget theorem through this. So the question states some constraints on the number of animals in the town of Hamlet. For example, for each horse, there are three people. So hence, if H is the number of horses, then number of people would be 3H. And similarly, sheep and cow or ducks are related with number of people. So the question is about the total number of animals in the town cannot take a certain value out of these options. And we have to figure out. So first, let's assume the respective variables. Let the number of horses be equal to h and similarly number of people equal to p and number of sheep equal to s and number of cow equal to c number of duck equal to d. So based on the given constraints let's write out the relations. So we get p that is number of people is thrice the number of horses. So p equal to 3h and sheep equal four times the number of cows and number of ducks is thrice the number of people which in turn is three times of 3h that is nine. So if one adds all these we get h plus p plus s plus c plus d. Now let's retain the value of h as h and p equals 3h s equals 4c so let us substitute 4c in place of s and c needs to be retained as it is and d equal to 9h and it totals up to 13h plus 5c. So notice here that there were 5 variables at the start and we have reduced it to 2 variables and there are no direct relation between horses and cows or even indirect relations are not given to us. So they are independent. Now we have to find one of the options of the given phi that cannot be represented as 13h plus phi c. This is the question. So now there is a simple idea to crack this problem. So think about multiples of phi and multiples of phi plus 1 and multiples of phi plus 2 plus 3 and plus 4. So if you consider them, clearly all multiples of phi can be represented. Just we take h as 0 and c as the quotient. But when it comes to some reminder when divided by phi, which is non-zero, then we have to make some constructions or analysis in for some. Notice that h being 0 will only give you multiple of phi. So we know that there are numbers of the form 5k plus 1, 5k plus 2, 5k plus 3 and 5k plus 4. These are obtained by substituting the value of h from 1 to 4. So let's take 13 times 0. We clearly know that it leaves a reminder of 0. 13 times 1 leaves a reminder of 3 when divided by 5. So I am writing in the bottom row the reminder when divided by 5. We get 0, 3 and 13 times 2 will leave a reminder of 1, 13 times 3 will leave a reminder of 4 and 13 times 4 shall leave a reminder of 2. So as you could see, no two reminders are same. All of them are distinct and it covers the entire residue class. What is residue class? Residue class is the collection of all reminders when a number divides some other number. So here 5 divides the number 13h and it covers all the reminders from 0 to 4 from 13 times 0 to 13 times 4. So let's consider the largest number that leaves a reminder of 3 but that cannot be represented as 13h plus 5c. 
Remember, H and C are H and C are whole numbers or non-negative natural numbers. And also, thirteen times one equals thirteen. This is the first number that leaves a reminder of three when divided by five. So when you take a step back, you get the number eight by subtracting five. Now eight can't be represented because thirteen is the very first number that leaves a reminder of three when divided by five because C cannot be negative. And moving on to 13 times 2, we have 26. So 26 is the first number leaving reminder of 1. That means if you subtract a 5, you cannot represent 21. And all the preceding numbers which leave reminder of. So that means not only 21, 21 minus 5 that is 16 and. Eleven, six, one—all these can't be represented. So thirteen times three is thirty-nine, and minus five would be thirty-four. So all the numbers less than thirty-four, leaving a reminder of four when divided by five, cannot also be represented. Similar logic for thirteen times four, which is fifty-two, and minus five would be forty-seven. And all numbers less than forty-seven, leaving reminder two, can't be represented. So this is how one can conclude. The numbers that cannot be represented, and in the very first row we have eight, and eight minus five is three, so that is also not representable. Now let's come back to the options we had. We have forty-one, forty-seven, fifty-nine, sixty-one, and sixty-six. Do notice that any number greater than forty-seven can be represented, or forty-seven is the largest number that cannot be represented. As a linear combination of thirty, so this clearly eliminates the options C, D, and now come to forty. Forty-one is a number that leaves a reminder of one when divided by. That means we have to think about thirteen times. Now thirteen times two is twenty-six, which leaves a reminder of one when. If I add appropriate multiple of five to twenty-six, I should be able to reach forty-one, right? Because forty-one is a number more than twenty-six. So I can add some positive multiple of five in order to obtain it, and essentially, it is just by adding fifteen to it one would obtain four. So forty one is also, and forty seven can't be represented because fifty two is the very first number that leaves a reminder of two, and that can be represented as thirteen h plus five. So hence, forty seven will be the answer that can't be represented. So you have to un first understand that the set of numbers that leave a particular reminder starts from the least multiple of thirteen that leaves the same reminder. If you think about numbers of the form five k plus one, they start from thirteen times, and by appropriate addition of multiples of five, you can make it larger, as we did from twenty six to forty one. So by similar way. We can say that so thirteen times four is the first occurrence of a number leaving reminder two when divided by five, which means thirteen times four minus five, which is forty-seven, can't be represented, and it is also the largest because thirteen times four is the largest first occurrence of a certain reminder. So we conclude that forty-seven is the largest number that cannot be represented as a linear combination of. Thirteen and now, if you generalize it, that is given to positive integers m and n, or given to natural numbers, the greatest integer that cannot be represented in the form or as a linear combination of m and a m plus b n, where a and b are whole numbers, that is non-negative integers, is nothing but m times n minus one. Minus n because m times n minus one can be represented just by taking the multiple of n. But when you subtract it from n, that can't be represented because m times n minus one is the first occurrence of whatever reminder it leaves when divided by. And of course, as we saw, this set of numbers m times zero, m times one, m times two, all the way till m times n minus one constitutes. The entire residue class, or the set of all reminders, when divided by n in some order, we do not know the order beforehand. But in some order, they constitute the entire reminder due to the co-prime nature of m and n. And this number is nothing but m n minus m 
minus n and this statement is what is called as chicken nugget theorem it is also called as frobenius coin problem but the idea is about representation of natural numbers as a linear combination of two non negative integers you can express your ideas in comments for the proof of it as well and we will meet in the next video thank you bye